City of Tucson says they've heard community concerns about Project Blue. Yesterday, they released the details of two upcoming meetings on the proposed data center development. One concern for many, the project's energy and water usage. KGO 9's Alex Dowd has a breakdown on what a data center is and why they actually need water. These are scenes from Tucson's first meeting with Project Blue developers. The event bringing out Tucsonans asking about the economic, environmental, and hydrological effects of a data center in their backyard. But what would that data center do? And what does a room of computers have to do with water? To answer those questions, I met with Sky Island AI co-founder Ed Hendel at nonprofit Watershed Management Group. The internet's growing, right? Everyone takes photos constantly. AI is a major source of uh, storage and energy. As part of an AI startup, Hendel recognizes the need for more data centers in the U.S., but has holdups about hosting one in the desert. Computers get hot. They run hot especially in data centers when you have an entire building full of computers. And that's where the water comes in. Cannot just put them in a nice, comfortable, air-conditioned room like this one. Mm -hmm. You have to actually run water past them. The water flows past the server, absorbs the heat, evaporates, and kind of takes the heat out of the computer so the computer can continue running. The city of Tucson says Project Blue will not deplete Tucson's water supplies for the community. After construction, the project will use reclaimed water. The city says eventually transitioning to return more water to the environment than they used. But Sky Island AI's online dashboard shows that most data centers in the U.S. use millions of gallons of water each day. Google's data center in Mesa, Arizona is allowed up to 4 million gallons of water a day. We researched other data centers in the U.S. of a similar scale. We're just trying to show the public the full scope of what we're signing up for here. And you can play with it and determine for yourself if it's a good trade-off. That was our goal. To find the project dashboard or the next Project Blue meeting, head to our website, kgun9.com. In Midtown, Alex Dowd, KGun9.